Okay, I'm back in the gardens. So I'm gonna retrace my steps back to the, the middle. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> this has gone poorly. Okay, I made it to the crypt. Let's go listen to Mother. Can't wait to hear what she's got to say. Hello. Louis! At last, there you are. Well, you believe it's me now. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, Time I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I found you. I'm ready, Mother. If only, Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? Excuse me? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of... Is it of me? Am I the parasitic spirit another, because I'm controlling Louis? It. And two of them are present on this island. No. Right. So it's not that meta. <laughs> I put my money on the boogeyman and Father Christmas. <laughs> Do you really believe that I'm joking here? <laughs> Many years ago, well before you were born, <laughs> Poor I Louis. crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I, I mean, was that, that made sense that for him to say he wasn't was buying it at all. Why would he say two real one names? Way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Bertrand was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things. You shouldn't be buying this, Louis. Admit, this I is never mad. Knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis. Not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? No. Don't listen to her mad talk. Mother, I shan't follow you down that path. I wouldn't be doing you any favors. Rational and open, Louis. Tell me then, how can anyone own properties all over the world for centuries, always having signed documents with the same signature? Well... I can find ten other explanations less eccentric. I also haven't than noticed that. So. Mother. How come the Mortimers have had only one male heir for each generation since the Third Crusade? Forgery, family rights, where they get rid of the daughter. There are dozens of less extravagant possibilities. Correct. How could one man motivate so many future leading figures of the day on his silly island without anyone finding out about it? Even the Golden Order. Money and charisma. Of that. Well, he's simply better than us, and he's welcome to it. You refuse to open your eyes, Louis. You've lost your objectivity, Mother. I saw him! Wh what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. The next On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. 
but the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him, or rather he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book. And he was able to decipher a few passages. You're right, that does we make him a demon. We spent several months together studying the pages. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me and in the end he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. <laughs> what are those responses? <sighs> and you accepted. Please don't be stupid. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the Order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. It's free. You agreed. And that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait. The baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchert's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute. I guess <laughs> let's just move on. I do not accept any of this. <sighs> um. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Is she the, like, most unlikable character in this game so far? I think she must be. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to- it's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing. And then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. Um, Jesus Christ. Do I care about any of these? Are you gonna no. tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that. I shall show you. Okay. Uh, let's go for that then, obviously. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He wants the United States to occupy all the North American territory. France should recover Louisiana and give it to the United States. In that case, 
The Americans would just have to push west to chase the Spanish from the continent once and for all. And as Mortimer controls Washington, you may just as well say that it will put him at the head of a world superpower. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Can I side with the demons? Quote, unquote. Are you going to tell me why we're here? Turns around and slaps him again. It's Jesus. There. That's why we are here. The Babby Jesus. Of course, it all makes sense now. Bethesda? <laughs> Okay. Haha, <laughs> I did go see the crowd. That was a good thing to do. I protected one of the Hillsborough twins. Well, I don't know which one it was. No level. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather five objects oh, good. Yeah. before we try anything. Are the five objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere. Well, those are very easy to find. To match up the dates between the different calendars. Okay. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Remember, Mother, I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running? I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. <laughs> so it's just in the crypt, okay. Uh, some nails. Well, I think they're a little bit more significant than some nails. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study. Behind oh yeah, I do that. remember that, actually. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them, then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to to exit. Of course. I'm literally gonna have to like traipse around this entire map finding things. Okay, so the cross is in here. Nails are in Mortimer's study. An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. Okay, well, I'm... Not gonna ask her about all the things because I'm never gonna remember where all five are. So I will pop up a, a walkthrough and that's where we'll find out where the other two are. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them. 
to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities well, that I, happened over I, the past few days. Well, I dealt days. with two of those people. Not I killed two of them, of them basically. Them asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6466. Right. She hasn't really done anything to prove to Louis why he should believe her. And I certainly do not. Just bizarre. Okay, so the cross should be in here somewhere. Uh, I don't even need that one. Coin? Is that the cross? Famous cross. <laughs> Perfect. And one key found. She, she was running and bleeding to death, and she managed to lose it in the corner here. Okay. Um. Okay, well, I know I know where to get the other ones. Well, I really don't need any of these things. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it would be worth today. Okay, gonna uh, look up a walkthrough for it to find the other ones, and um, I will cut out all the running between, obviously, because that will be not very interesting. Okay, back in the portrait gallery. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. Medusa hat. That statue is not positioned correctly. Swivel the statue. Well, good thing I've got to walk through. <laughs> Uh, towards the hero with the shield. Hooray, that was easy. Open sesame. Um, one of the display cases on the left of you is the exegesis. It's in one of these, I guess. Was it this one? I assume so, since he is reaching in for it. So that's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often, otherwise he's going to notice that someone's stolen it. But that's just too bad. I need it. Sweet. Exodesis done. Let's go get... Right. ...the sphere. Got what I need. I've got both keys for this one. Amazing. Yay! It had some water. Good. Good stuff. Okay, this is Walner's room. Um, didn't... <laughs> didn't Holt tell everybody to go back to their rooms? I don't think anybody is in their room. Um, uh, mm -mm. Metal sphere statues on the table of right next to the entrance. Oh, this one? No, that's a glass. This one? An armillary sphere. Perfect. That will save me some time. <laughs> <laughs> I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. Score. Okay, I don't, have I been in here? I think so. Golden elixir. Nice. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> and now we head in to the tower room right here. Ah, ah. Louis. Glad you're here. Jesus. Blasted. He's gonna talk about my mother. Come and see what I've found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. No. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain there must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? Let's manipulate him. If you want my opinion, a, a servant must have burnt some old papers. That's all. Why, of course. You very nearly made me think that you were trying to hide something, Louis. No, I'm sure there must be other hidden messages. He won't let go. He's going to work his way back to the Bible if he continues. Why is it so dark in here? Um... 
You now have both keys needed to unlock the chest on the fireplace in the secondary room. Okay. Is, is there another fireplace in here? Yes. Oh my god, I think I remember trying to open this like ages ago. Just with the occult symbol representing air. I did not get it. That is very annoying. But if I do that... Aha! And that gives a golden elixir and an amber fragment. Well, the Bible's in here somewhere. Oh, is this? This was the Bible. The one from the puzzle. <laughs> Amazing. Got it. Okay. Got the nails as well. There. Those Got everything. That was quite fast, actually. We can analyze them. For two, is it worth analyzing them? Uh, I actually don't have any more recovery things, so I'm not going to. I'm going to save those for when I need them. Okay, we're just about back. Ready to open up this thing or something. Hey. So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. Very well. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. There. Um. <laughs> Guess a theme that inserts nails in the door. The cycle of the moons has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. Okay. This exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses, and the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Okay. Crucifixion, because the nails? Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Okay. So, I, like, I've got the answers open next to me, but I wanted to figure out why. And so it says, place the nail at 1 o'clock where there's... Uh, 19 in Roman numerals, which it said, and then at 2 o'clock when there's 17, which is also what it said. Um, and then it says also at 8 o'clock where there is Golgotha. So maybe if we go here. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place. There's Golgotha, the okay. Skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side, and Jesus in the midst. It makes sense, so it was talking about the crucifixion, which is what the nails were from. Chapter oh, 19. fuck. Insert the nails. Holy crap, okay, so 19, 17, and Golgotha. Okay. That, that puzzle made sense. It would have taken me forever to get there with that little guide, but... Okay. It works. Well done, Louis. I hadn't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way. Put in your hand. <laughs> It'll kill me. It'll chop off my hand. Do I do it? Um, let's analyze these wheels. There must surely be a connection between the wheels. Well, it's got to be, the, the moons has got to be the, the spinny thingamajigger. This wheel represents the different moons. In the occult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. Okay. Let's go listen to this thing. Focus on the moon. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Good. What? Seventh of Shaban, 607, first quarter. 
Does anything here make sense? No. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. I can't follow this at all. I'm just going to do the guide on this one. East, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadowed new moon. Right. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to not going to try and solve that one in my head. Um, analyze the wheels. Oh wait, no, I don't need to do it. I can just go to the lever. Zuh, I think. Okay. Wheel of icons line up the crown of thorns with the text Golgotha. Does that make sense? That's where he's crucified. And it's, it's on Golgotha. Okay. Yeah, that one made sense. Wheel of dates. Line up 8A with the text Bethlehem. Um, okay. And then... The Wheel of Moons. Line up the half-lit, half-dark moon... With the text Bethesda. I would, I would not have figured that one out. Um, is it that one? It is that one. That should be it. Let's go stick my hand in there. Don't lose your hand. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. Do it, Louis. I never doubted you, my son. He didn't lose his arm, hooray. Oh. Come on, please be like an alien civilization or something. Oh. Well, we're gonna have to wait to find out. <laughs> okay, that was... Yeah, that was the, um... The end of Chapter 3 was the Trial of Faith. So, uh... Yeah, interested to see where we go from there. <laughs> that's, that's, that is the first thing that's happened. That door opening and us going through that I've been slightly interested in. <laughs> in this whole game. So, uh, hopefully it's gonna be good now.